the last part of the chapter deals with the mystical application of God and creation. We have God, which is beyond creation, and then we have creation, and we have the idea of mind over matter, which is the essence of Tai Chi. Tai Chi, of course, has to do with cultivation of Chi. Chi gets translated as life force, spiritual vibration, energy. But a more profound translation of the word Chi is found in this particular application. Chi gets translated as influence. A person of high, a high level of Chi will be able to influence creation, change the outcome of events, influence. He who understands how to remove desires from his psyche will gain a certain amount of control over creation, ability to manipulate the physical world, make things happen according to his will. Of course, the will must be subjected to noble purpose. Noble purpose comes from being inspired by energy entering into the crown chakra and the third eye. In Taoism, this is called the governor. The third eye and the crown chakra becomes the governor which sends messages to the ministers which are the various organs and the limbs. Without the inspiration of holiness coming into the third eye and crown chakra, without that inspiration, then the ministers act in self-interest, not for the benefit of the whole. But when the governor is being influenced from heavenly energies, then our movements, our speech, our motivations, our activities will be blessed and fruitful and influential. proceed to a Qigong exercise that a